And right away, uh, it's game two. Blame allies versus slots. Blame allies on the attack. Slots on the defense. Fognati and Sifnaria are banned. Uh, blame allies have just won the attack. As we get to see how... Uh, actually, blame allies have just won the defense. As we're going to see if they can do the same for the attack. All right, uh, guys, let's dive right into the unit selection here because this might already tell us a little bit more about what both teams are looking for, to, for in this match. I'm already seeing a lot of Berserkers on both sides. Mm -hmm. they, they switch their comms um, pretty fast right now. We're seeing on Elias now just three, four calf units really instead of before. A lot of Madawas, a lot of Berserkers, old men. And on the defending side for Slavs, we see, again, a lot of ranged unit Tertius, Shenjis, but also, again, a lot of Pikes and special units. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Siladas, we're seeing Reapers, Mudaos. Let's see how this is going out. Yeah, absolutely. In terms, of, in terms of the weapon class, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, a lot of malls on the... Oh, actually, same same amount of malls on both sides uh, this time, and still the Pikes there. Um, looking at the units, I'm very intrigued by Blame Lies. They seem to be going for simple, I would say. Uh, they're just picking the four different units, like the big front line, the pike, and then the berserkers and the palace guards to actually get in there and fight. Um, so it's it's easier to execute, I think, compared to the the strategy the Slavs are trying to do. Look at this: in their starting lineup, they have four uh, gunner units there. But yeah. you gotta wonder if they are if, if they will be able to protect those gunners at all if you have but so many. As of them. we as we said before, it's looking like a typical Elias threat mm -hmm. because. Um, this threat is not for for building up your push and holding it. It's a it's a fast attack. It's a, it's a, a a very fast paced attack with berserkers with impikes going in fast, disturbing the enemy, and then trying to secure your point after that. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, let's take a look at the defenders and see what they are going to do because the attacker should clearly just be pushing the towers here, as as that is what they're doing. Uh, we can see the defenders spreading out. They're not going to sally out like uh, Blame Allies did. Um, but the defenders are just trying to do the normal thing. Nothing special is going to happen this time, so we can take it a bit easier in this one. Um, there is a lot of artillery on this map. You need to make sure you take it out quickly, or it's quite easy for the defenders to actually destroy one of the towers. Also with their watch yeah, this map on the second wall. This map is actually quite hard for the attackers to shoot down the artillery, because mm -hmm. you only have cannons. And they're also quite far away, so you need to have pretty good aim, or you need to know your spots where you shoot. Yeah, exactly. You, you can really practice those spots, right? It's it's actually something that yeah. all the, I know the good teams are doing, especially plebs, they're really good at just making sure that they know all the exact spots and angles that you need to aim at. And it really helps. On the other hand, both teams have a pretty good ballista station, so we could see early hero kills with the mm. ballistas. The ballista for the attacking side still standing, we're seeing deja vu on it, and he's trying to snipe. The heroes that's standing on A currently. Yep, exactly right. We can continue. The defending to see one's already destroyed. Yep, here we got Deja Z trying to aim for it. Not getting uh, his aim uh, wh where he wants it yet. We'll see if he gets better at it uh, throughout time. Still needs to practice it, I guess. Yep. Alright, but the towers are going to land. We can see the center tower only being half held, but that will make it the right one, the left one. Yeah, Slavs are already retreating yeah. down to the. They're doing the traditional way don't yep. defend A, go back to the supply, exactly. try to hold B and C with right. all the units they have. Exactly. So Fair. it's pretty yeah, free Fair. now, A for Elias. Yeah, quite right. Very different approach. And now it will be interesting to see if Lame Elias are going to switch out some of the units. They're already switching out. Uh, with five, six players, Note Monkey, Bravo, Mat, Late Matter, Alex, Alias, Deja Vu, and also Mercenary, all running back to the supply in order to get any new units. Uh, Slavs, looks like those guys are ready to go, and they've probably got the unit setup that they want for want to go for. Uh, we can see them scouting out uh, where Blame Lies are going. Looks like they're going to the left to the C supply. Yeah. Uh, some are splitting off. They they try. They go immediately up the tower. For the sea supply, mm -hmm. and we have Elias up in the front again. He's leading his team. Yeah, quite right. They got the high ground, and this is a really good spot for stuff like Sekalian for Shenji. Uh, any range can really deal a lot of damage here. Uh, we can see the Shenji from Slavs actually shooting up. Oh, there we go. They should be getting but killed. To be fair, that's also pretty dangerous for the attacking team to standing on top of that. Because we all know, if someone of the team traps down the units and misses his trap, he could hit all the 
our own units on the back side of the giant tower. Mm -hmm. And also, as we all know, pikes can't re uh, um, advance really good downstairs. So if the uh, defending team would already move upstairs a bit and holding them up there in a choke, the yeah, attacking team would have no chance pushing down there really against yep. shields and shenjis fighting upwards. Yeah, absolutely right. And especially those big shields, those Imperial shields, they can really block so many things. Uh, especially in the follow commander position, they will just be blocking and blocking and blocking. And you can also not really get trapped on that location as well. We'll see if uh, Blame Lights is also going to rotate to the right. There's two guys, Bloodstory and Matt, on the right side, just seeing to figure out where the weak spots are. They've also got some calf waiting and one Imperial Pike. Two calf and one Imperial Pike, Mercenary being down here as well. Traps oh, this continue to fly in. Watch that. No. Watch well done. For the changes. Yeah, well done. And remember, they've got plenty of time. There's 10 minutes left on the clock. There's only three deaths. So for Blame Alias, they probably want to take it easy. They know that you can get the push off at least every two minutes. So they've still got, they're still good to go. To but see look down, look down. In, if you see in the between A and the, the second wall, we're seeing two cavaliers already waiting. Armigas and one pike unit. Uh, mm -hmm. So as soon as Elias is going to push down, I think these yep. two, yeah, they're moving they, up. They and are they going down now. They are going down. Yeah. Here we go. The change is going, going in. Palace guard going to charge in, or is it the Lost Guard? Actually, e and then trying to get to the back of Slavs and yep. hurting them as most as they can. Yeah, this trap is trying to cut off the guys, but uh, Blade Mangler is making sure that they are not getting flanked here. They're waiting for Slavs to push into them. And I think this is really smart. Uh, we can see Alex actually on the supply trying to block it off there. Half is coming through. Yeah, ooh, this, look at this. this star is going to go in. This going to hurt. Yeah, they're probably ignoring the, the B point, but look at this. Ooh, actually, kept this up quite a lot by Guterres and Picasso down there. But the front line is That's definitely winning. Nicely done by Blame Lies pushing here. Slavs are having trouble actually clearing their supply in order to get new units. The hero kills is in favor for uh, Slavs though. They've only lost two, Blame Lies lost three so far, and this will become a deathmatch now. It's going to be a fight about who can get in their resupply quick enough. Uh, we can see some more cap there walking around from Blame Lies, and Slavs need to be quick now in order to get back. But so far, Slavs looks like they might be holding. They're gonna need their reinforcements coming though. Two team play up, they're on the way. Can they make it in time? I wonder. Well, let's see where Blame Lies is. We're seeing Shenji's throwing on the supply. Yep. They're not getting contested at all by the heroes. Now Ronin is going in them, trying to kill them. Yeah, exactly. They're still dealing a lot of damage to the heroes. Yeah. But and they Bla can shoot freely. Yeah, Blame Ally is getting the supply and they're also going to get B points. Uh, Rigres was trying to hold it off there, but he was fighting on three heroes. That was not going to work out for him. Slavs need to retreat to the final one. That is going to be very, very rough to defend here. But currently we're still equal, like 300 unit deaths for Slavs mm -hmm. and 200 unit deaths for Blame Elias. Um, and a delta of like only 50 units alive, to 790 to 740. Yeah, exactly. So, like, so they will have enough to defend the endpoint. Yep. And meanwhile, Imperator are getting called out. Mr. Tucker also getting called out. Actually, a few players being called in rotation here. As Blame Elias is going to get the right supply and left supply as well. If you look at the units, like you said, um, both teams having only fought one battle so far in this game, uh, which means that they do have their second lineup ready, so they should still all be having like really good units ready to fight for this one. Again, Blame Ally is having plenty of time to set this up, as the C point is going to get kept, and they will be having uh, around 12 minutes, if I'm correct. There we go, 12 and a half minutes. So let's see how they go, go and approach this. And uh, actually, I, I truly do believe that Slavs may have to pull something out of their head because in this map the attacker can come in from three directions and that is very hard to defend. Another trap for Blame Allies. Yeah, absolutely true. Alright, uh, this time Traditional on the side we, we do see a lot of Berserkers, Cilidars, Iron Reapers just as well. Uh, oh, this trap will hurt. Oh, the whole yeah. impike destroyed. Yeah, that did hurt. So let's see if they got some of the kills there. Yep, just like it. Alright, troops, casualties, there we go. And there we see the Siladars by Karstan. Oh, a very special unit, you don't see that a lot in, in the fights. Um, 
what I personally don't mind, this, this unit can be very strong in the right hands of a good player mm -hmm. if you support them, but they're also very weak if they're standing alone yep. against a whole blob of units. Yeah, they can be countered easily, and in this manner, Iron Reapers and Berserkers seem to be a bit stronger. They're faster, they're, they hit harder, and they can do more on their own. Uh, but teams are going to approach. Let's see. The Fort of Russia, the shields, they're already two shields on their side. They're going to be able to block a lot. Preemptive Trap Strike coming in. Shanghai Squadron is going in. There we go with the advance. Pike advance going in from both sides. Looks like the Pike advance from Lemon Lies is creating Arthur's more space. trying though. to go from the back with three heroes, but it's got defended by uh, Elias with 140. But it seems to they've gone through. Yep. Now the heroes diverting to the back side to supporting the units. Yeah, so another Pike advance going with the Modal. It looks like Sets are pushing they back cannot, really good. They cannot support their push on the endpoints. Yep. Lars is winning there. Yeah, so exactly. Elias has to divert back. Yeah, exactly right. Blame wise had to respawn with 5-6 guys at the backside and Sloths were able to actually clean up this fight. They haven't lost any hero yet. Gills are coming in and it looks like Sloths... They might be losing them. Ooh, good cap charge here. Seems... Nope. Yes, that Elias seems might. to hold now the point. They don't try to push further, but holding their position, what they already won with Torty, it seems that... Yeah, 140 is that... Yeah, there's Holding 140 the in that one formation, killing so many stuff. And also the Shenji is still behind, another grenade throw coming in. There is Cataphract coming from uh, from Slavs, but I feel like it's just a little too late. As they're trying to get into the back, but the Fort have raised, the shield's still up there, the Shenji is still shooting. Yeah, the Cataphract cat is still in. alive from, yep. from Elias. Two unit Cataphracts. They will now clean up everything that's left alive. Yeah, exactly up right. to that supply point. This Only... is another GG. Yep, totally true. Uh, Last hero. Of... Only fight. four, three heroes left. Uh, there's another unit trying to come in, but this will be too little too late again. And Blame Elias, really convincingly winning the fights one after the other. They always seem to get out ahead and they're just executing it better. It is what you said before the game or the match started. And depending on who is going to execute it better on this map, will take the win. Long sword, short form is trying to stall it, but GG, Blame Elias take it 2-0 against Slavs, securing their fourth place for now um, and looking to further improve their standing throughout the season over the next couple of weeks. Uh, well done to Rafa with the musket, getting the MVP, 130 unit kills, uh, one hero kill, one assist, six, uh, 16 assists actually. 16 assists yeah, for a musket. Is, that is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. All right, and on the other side, body fast on the dual blades. Really well done. They're getting four hero kills, but only 37 unit kills. You can see it in the unit kills, right? Blame lies for just getting out, fought each and every fight there. Um, but looking looking at the post battle analysis, mm -hmm. there you can see the hero kills, 32 to eight hero kills. That was just a slaughter. Mm -hmm. Then at the end, yeah. for the heroes. Yeah, it certainly Whereas was. Uh, it did make a big difference. It felt like Slavs uh, weren't able to catch up to, to what Blame Lies were doing. They were simply uh, out executed there and they weren't able to get their resupply back in time. Quite often you can see that the team is able to lose a fight but still get back. Um, but Blame Lies always made sure to, to continue to have their uh, their setup ready with the Fort Bracho on the endpoint. You can see it especially well, always having one unit in the at F1 formation with the Shenji behind it and really protecting their gunners very well until the end. So GG, uh, 